Well, hello everyone again. Um, someone asked me to do a video on how I built my little calf catcher. Um, it's obviously not on the side by side right now, but I did find all the pieces for it. So I actually made it in two parts. I made uh, this square tubing deal there. It's got two places it bolts to the frame. I need each arm there and there, and then you can see the bolts there and there. And then the back one, it actually hooks into the receiver hitch on the back of the Rhino. So you just slide it in and lift this frame up to bolt it on. And then I used uh, just some round stuff with holes in it and made a little hinge. In between the pipe, I got three hinges on it. One on the front, one in the middle, and one on the back. And just use little pins to... That way, if we're using the, want to use the side by side to go fix fence, we can just take this off so it's out of the way. This is actually the rig, or the second one I built. The first one, uh, the last calf my brother caught with it, he uh, was going along a fence about 40 miles an hour and he caught the fence. And uh, needless to say, the cage did not survive. It got tweaked and bent. Um, my slider, my door, I just made a slide door on the front. Use some little channel iron and inch square tubing for the door. And it slides up, and it's a little rusty or stiff since it's not on the thing. It's a little twisted, but then you hold it up, and I just made a little pin out of rod, round rod. And there's supposed to be a piece of square tubing that that fits into, but uh, somewhere along the lines, it must have got broke and never replace so you'd be sitting in your side by side and just jerk the rod out and then the door slams shut. Um, other words just made out of inch. The frame that goes underneath the side by side is an uh, inch and a half and that's 11 gauge and then the main frame you know like all this and the top and then the bottom is all inch and a half and the rest of this is just inch square tubing 11 gauge. I just found some um, I think these are actually wheelbarrow tires um, that I found at Runnings, and they're no flat. They don't take any air. Um, I guess they've held up so far. The bearings aren't the best, but we we tagged the, all the calves last year with it, and the year before with the same tires, and they're they held up. So if I ever have to, it ain't that big a deal to just cut the tires off and then weld new tires on. Um, my original intent was in the back here, make a little shelf or whatever so you could set a calf and carry it, but I never did that. Um, this cage is quite heavy um, to be adding to it, so I don't know if I will add to it or not. And then the slide gate on the front, it does vibrate and make quite a bit of noise. So I don't know how I could do that better in the future to, and still make it simple so it's kind of an idiot proof. Um, but anyhow, that's, this is the front and uh, you know the side by side would be right there. And I'll definitely make another video with, uh, with it on the side by side. In March we start calving about, the, about mid March so we'll put it on. And uh, just a lot safer. You never know. You only you always got one cow that ends up wanting to hurt you. And uh, this pretty much makes it a lot safer for whoever's taking calves. Or if they're having problems at night by themselves. They can drench the calf or get the calf away from its mother if it needs to in a storm. And not have to worry about getting ran over or killed. And uh, it only takes one time getting hurt and you will never do... This kind of work in your life again so we just figure it was best to do this so anyhow please ask any questions comment rate and subscribe um that's it thanks bye